Hey guys, welcome to this video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to properly apply your Wix template onto your Wix account. So this template right here is on sale on my Etsy shop. If you did purchase this template, I want to say thank you and I want to show you how to properly apply it to your Wix site. Um, I'm not sure what is going on, but I know with Wix, um, the template uh, could be a little bit off in the measurements when you apply it to your Wix site, but don't worry, this video is solely for that purpose and will help you solve that problem. So your overall measurements of your template is 1110 by 160 px this is normally a good size to apply to your wix website um i'm the type of person i do like a little bit of a thinner looking banner um instead of a bigger banner but um if you do want to change the actual height of your banner you definitely could in your canva account but for the most part after you download and purchase your template you're going to go ahead and make the necessary adjustments to your liking by adding, you know, your name, your information, your contact, and everything else. And then you want to download it onto your desktop, which if you do need help in downloading it onto your desktop, when you made your initial purchase for this template, it did come with instructions on how to download it onto your desktop because um, as you can see, we have videos on this template. So downloading them is different from just downloading pages without videos. So you do need to download that um, a little bit specifically. But in the PDF, once you made your purchase, I do have instructions on how to download your template to your desktop. So assuming that you already went through the download process of it and you're just ready to go ahead and upload it to your site, but you realize that your site, the templates are not adding up it's not measuring out correctly and everything else so here's how you fix that you go to your wix account you'll go to your wix account and then this is just a blank test site that i'm going to show you on but you go into your wix account and then you want to add an element now the element that you want to add is a I'm trying not to use my clicker because it's so loud. I probably got too many windows up too. But anyways, so the element that you want to add is your strip. And you want to add the video strip right here because you do have videos. And then you just want to slide that up. And as you can see, it is stretched to the full width of the site. If you unclick it, and then just do a stretch page, you are going to see the size of your website. But you can always stretch it back and it's gonna stretch to the full screen. So now that you have your strip in there, you wanna go ahead and change the background and you wanna make sure that you click video. I already have these files uploaded onto this site. So um, all you do after you download it to your desktop is just simply upload the media to your Wix account. So you're gonna select the first video, which is your welcome template, exit out. And as you can see in the editing version, your template is way off center. You can't see much of nothing. So even if you save it, and then go to preview, it's still the same. If you publish it, hold on, this is how your site should look. But if you publish it, I'm gonna refresh it. This is how it looks. So it's off center, the measurements are not correct in Wix, and we're gonna go ahead and fix that. So you fix it, and go back to editor. And how you fix it is, you wanna make sure you select your strip. So as you can see, the section is selected, but you wanna select the strip right here.
So you select the strip, go to your tools, go to toolbar, and then you want to change the height of it. Now the height that works best for this type of template in Wix is 227. So as you can see, the width is 1110, and then now the height is 227 instead of it being 160. So what would happen if you put 160 in here? Let's just, so if you do 160, One sixty in the editing version, it looks good, right? It looks very good. It looks every everything looks good. Let's save it, and it even looks good in the preview of the page. But if you publish it and then view site, I might have to refresh it though. So let's refresh. You can see that the words are cut off and some of the graphics are cut off. So doing it with the original template size of what the template is, which is 1110 by 160 PX, it's not gonna work in Wix for some reason. So you always wanna make sure that when you're viewing your website, you don't wanna view it in preview. You wanna always view it in publish because when you publish it, that's what your clients is going to see. So you wanna make sure that you're viewing your site while you're editing. It's the way that your clients will see your site once you fully publish it and start promoting it. So go back to tools, toolbar. And like I said, the size that I uh, figure out that works best for this template with Wix is 227. So, as you can see in the editing version, the image or the template did get bigger. Save it. And then even if you preview it, it still look a little bit big, even in the preview area of it. But when you publish it, give it a minute, refresh. Now you see everything is aligned correctly. So when you are adding your video and your photos to the Wix website using my template, you want to make sure that you have the measurements for your template only in Wix as 1110 in width by 227 in height. So You can go back to editor and just apply the rest of your templates. So if you scroll down and you click here, you notice that this section is big. So what you could do, you could simply just, just slide that bar up. I don't like to slide it up. I like to put in the numbers. And as you can see, it's 500, you wanna do 228. Give it another inch of space. And you just repeat the same process. So I'm just gonna duplicate this section. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and change the background. Make sure you click video and then go to site files and then select, select your next video. Okay. And then I'm going to add another section. It's going to be a blank section. Okay. And then I want to add an element. Now you're going to add another strip right here. Now we're not going to do the video one because our next template is not video. You want to make sure you just do a blank strip um the color doesn't matter now because it's not going to be a color it's going to turn into a photo now so you're going to change background add image not video 
go to site files and then select your next template which is where is it which is our customer checklist okay So we're going to exit out that. And then you want to do the same thing you did with your video to your photo. So go to your tools, toolbar, and then make sure you have your strip selected, which you'll see is selected right here. And then do 227. Okay. Then for your actual section, which is selected right here, this extra space right here, you want to make that. 228. Okay. I'm going to exit our toolbar and then I'm just going to duplicate the rest of them. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and change the background, image, site files, and then scroll down some. Change background. So if you duplicate these, these um, templates, if you go to toolbar and then you can see that it's already the height that you need it to be. So it saves you some trouble with going back and forth and having adjusted. Um, you could duplicate the same thing with the video and just change the video. So now we're gonna save it. Publish, view site. And it's still on the last design that we did. So if you notice that, just go ahead and refresh your browser. And then as you can see, it is all aligned correctly. So that guys is how you overcome that weird measurement that we has got going on right now. Hopefully this is something that they could fix in the future so it won't be so much of adjustments. Um, I personally feel like if the if the templates are already the size that needs to be, be for the website, it should automatically just fit the way that it should fit. But this is how you'll fix that problem if you do experience that problem. If you do have any additional um, questions or need help with anything else, you could definitely reach me via my Etsy shop. Just send me over a message and I'll be more than happy to help you through any um, problems that you may face. Um, please allow me at least um, 48 hours in order to respond to your message. Other than that, I want to thank y'all for purchasing this beautiful template. I hope you enjoy it. I hope your business is blessed and filled with many abundance and success. Also, um, make sure you check out my other products. I am excited about launching my new Etsy shop. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I am, before I let y'all go, I am in the future thinking about selling actual websites, um, but it's just going to be for weeks. But I am thinking about selling actual websites. So um, instead of just being templates, it'll be a full website of your products and everything that you need. So I am thinking about doing that. If you feel like that is a good idea, let me know down in the comment section below. Um, I hope this video was informative and I hope that this clarified any type of measurement problems that you may face with Wix. Um, thank you again for watching and y'all have a great day. Bye.